Okay, so welcome to this week's Impact Show. This is where we answer questions on your game to help you take charge. Absolutely, get involved today. Go to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and post your questions using the hashtag Impact Show. Good luck and we'll hopefully be answering your questions. Yes, yeah, so and make sure you also check out Periscope and Snapchat, two other social media platforms we're using. One's live and one is behind the scenes, so make sure you check those out. Now, Pierce, we are still in California. We're on our USA Golf Breaks tour at the amazing Pelican Hill Resort. And just take a look at the views, guys. We've got the ocean to the side of us. We've got this beautiful par three here. What a place to be. It's very nice, isn't it? It's very nice. And we've got some breeze, haven't we? We've got some breeze, which is really good for this video. But before we get into that, make sure you check out the course vlogs we did on this golf course as well. This is the south course. We played this course. We played the north course. And we actually stayed at the, uh, in one of the villas here as well. So make sure you check out that. But yeah. We thought that we've, we've been doing videos here and we thought this is a perfect opportunity for us to sort of show uh, what we see a lot of our amateurs do when they have a wind like this. So it's extremely windy, there's no protection from any trees or anything like that. So we thought we'd get into this video. Yeah, and we've got here this par 3 13th, we've got 112 yards to the flag, so it's only a short hole. Yeah. Downhill as well. Downhill as well. Okay. So most golfers here would pull out their pitching wedge, even into the breeze or even maybe a 9 iron. But we want to really show you how you can control the ball. The last thing we want here, Pierce, is getting that golf ball going high and landing short which is often what we see isn't it so yep. controlling the spin controlling the flight a little bit more here maybe a slightly different club selection yep. and technique that's going to help you guys actually play this shot better when you're faced with it yeah i think e even though you say some people may even go to a nine and they may appreciate that they need to hit a uh, a longer club because of the wind but they stand there and they go hit it with a full swing as well you know even they could even go to a seven iron and hit a full swing from 110 yards because it's so windy it's just out of control so we want to show you a technique which we you know there's, there's lots of different ways you can play into the wind but this is one that works really well so my normal stance for a full shot would be something like this so straight away and the ball position would be maybe slightly further forward of middle so what we're going to do straight away is we're going to narrow my stance that's going to take power out the main reason it's going to do that is going to tell my brain hang on Piers wants to hit a softer shot here so it's a good key for my brain to do that ball position would put in the middle you'll see when we hit the shot in a moment but the main difference is when we swing the club back normally i would get a full wrist set so normally i would go into a position like this what we're going to ask you to do is to create is to actually swing back and take a lot of that wrist set out this is going to help to reduce the power and to reduce the backspin that you generate on your golf shots so from this position here you can feel how windy it is now from this position here what i'm going to do is as i start my down swing with the lower body i'm going to make sure that the shaft maintains that lean forward when I'm swinging through. So you can see I'm leaning the shaft forward as I'm striking the golf ball. And then when I get in through, through to my finished position, you'll see that the club head is still quite close to the ground. So as soon as I want to hit a high ball, I'll put the club head up like that. If I want to hit a low ball, I want that club head pointing down more towards the ground and towards the target. So it's all about really keeping the loft off the golf club so we don't create too much spin. Now, we've got 112 yards here. Pierce has actually gone for a seven iron again. So he's also de-lofting the club to take the spin off, but then he's reducing the power now just to be able to control that flight a little bit, little bit more, really. So lower loft, less of a swing, less wrist set. We're going to see it go low, but it's going to be a shorter golf swing, aren't we? It's like a, it is a literally like playing a long chip and run shot. And most golfers wouldn't even think about doing this. No, they you know, not. not from 112 yards anyway. Not at all. Now I'm holding my grip in the, in the, in my normal position. Some people like to choke down, but let's have a go. This is a really small green here. Okay. So I'll be impressed stance. if you can hit the green on this one. Ball in the middle. No wrist set back and through, hit it soft. It's coming around, coming around. But you know what, the one thing I will say, it's actually just on the right hand side there, just missed. But the ball did not go up in the air and it did not deviate directionally. And it was pin high. It was pin high, absolutely. There we go, but more, actually more important as well. So you can see by hitting the shot like that, the ball went dead straight. The only thing I got wrong was my start position. I just started a bit too far. A little far too right. far right. So I think if you can have a go at that, guys, it's a, it's a great way when faced with the shot into the wind, short distance, lower number club, feet closer together, apply that technique, it's definitely going to help you out.